Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be showing off the brand new Demon Hunter toys that we have for season 27. So right now we have had some changes with the PTR with the most recent update, adding the ability to strafe while using our Impale, which is really cool. I've been checking out the leaderboards to see kind of what is the best build for Demon Hunter. And as of right now, we do have a 150 clear with specifically the Cluster Arrows. It is a brand new way to play with the new Sanctified Power, the um, ability to make it so firing Cluster Arrow no longer drops Explosive Ordinance, but it concentrates its Explosive Force into Piercing Rays of Light. So that's the best Demon Hunter build. Now it's a little bit strange because the uh, ability that gives us the most damage is actually gonna be a very short range one. You guys are seeing a meta ish build right here where it has a very short range when you actually attack so you want to basically set up your turrets uh very very close to your enemies because it's a very short range now if you want to i do maybe plan to make a build guide for like the speed variant of this the speed variant is actually really fun it's almost like a, a giant rave that's going on i'll show you guys how it looks because the short range on the cluster arrow even though it's arguably right now in terms of leaderboards the highest pushed build um it is definitely not the easiest and most beginner friendly way to play but let me go and show you guys like the speed variant of it so the speed variant actually allows you to play a different rune uh on it and i'm using the cold one right now but there's a couple different ones that you can play but it's a lot more enjoyable to play as it off screens super super hard and i like it it's really fun to play if you're just looking for like some t16 speed running builds this can be a brand new way to play but speaking of brand new ways to play um first off i do want to show off the vengeance effect because the whole point of this video is to show off all the new things the vengeance effect is a little bit weak for the sanctified angelic power for the demon hunter it did kind of receive a different uh, wording on kind of how it works and i'll kind of show you guys how the vengeance works so this is how the vengeance works so you're going to see over on the skill bar we'll have this thing that right now it's in the number of 30 it basically charges up and if you're wondering how much damage does it deal there's the damage on a t16 monster now it does a percent of it. it looks like it hit it for about almost half of its hp but that's what that one does do now i do also want to show you guys the multi-shot demon hunter with the newer improved update from the ptr so these are the buffs with the demon hunter with the uh, multi-shot strafe build it is a ue build now um the reason why i also want to make a build guide for this one in particular and by the way this this video is not going to be a build guide if you guys want to see it and you're new here subscribe and i'll be dropping it very soon i'm just kind of waiting for the final rounds of maybe some announcements i believe this is the last patch that we're getting i don't think that they'll be changing multi-shot at all it's very very fun to play for like speed 100s but in terms of pushing you're probably looking at either doing impale strafe or the cluster arrow build that i showed you guys before uh, but this build has actually gotten a huge buff. So it kind of feels like multi-shot sometimes just shoots wherever it wants to shoot. Uh, however, it does not shoot in specifically the direction that you aim at. Well, we're gonna go ahead and just speed it up over here so you can see some speed runs. Uh, these are GRs. The first one was a GR100, these are just 75s. But you can see on uh, you know T16 or GR75s how fast you can just push with this build um in terms of like the speed like you can just push through the map super fast because multi-shot is excellent for doing that and the reason why i wanted to cover it is because i believe it's going to be the hadrix gift so it's a ue build of um strafe which is actually using multi-shot so you actually want to keep your discipline up pretty high uh if you can because that's going to give you some more damage but in terms of it like pushing i tried to give this set uh more damage you can throw on like a stone of jordan if you want to if you have the old but not the healed those ones technically give you extra discipline but getting the extra discipline can be kind of hard to roll early, earlier on so i'm guessing what people will most likely do is they'll start out with ue they'll just farm up until they get the impale set and then they'll play the impale set speaking of that let's go and show off gameplay of this because this is what i think most people want to play and we're still actually going to be running the uh power over here um where we have it so strafe uh, now casts the last non-channeled hatred spending ability in our case we are going to be still able to wield a dagger because this is the big update because we want the shadow six piece uh, set bonus we're going to deal massive damage with impale but we also want to be equipping a dagger so the newest update that we recently got allows us to do this and you can get massive damage you could basically do up to let's say speed like 120s 130-ish is where it gets a little bit tough if you want to um, really get that damage up you can run focus and restraint you can run squirts necklace he will be squishy you're probably going to want to play with smoke screen but i'll do more extensive build guys later down the line but 
I just want to show off the Demon Hunter as it's one of my favorite classes, and I think that for most people starting right out, this will be an excellent starter class, again, because you get the UE multi-shot Demon Hunter, and then you can transition into the Shadow Impaled Demon Hunter with the ability to just just strafe through. And you can see how fast this is. This is really smooth, not perfect pieces of gear on every single slot, so you can min-max this build definitely a little bit more. You can do up to 120s really, really easy without like insane gear. So I think this will be a great build for a lot of people to mess around with. And if you want to go and make a speed build with this, I have actually I have some gameplay where I made it more of a speed build with like Hot Pursuit as well as the uh, displacement with a smoke screen. You can make this build super fast. And look at this, this is still a GR100 and I'm just beaming everything super fast. You can either run the cold rune for speed. The fire one I think is going to be a little bit more meta, but you can easily, easily push with this build. Fantastic build. So in terms of my feedback, I love the Demon Hunter. I feel like the Vengeance ability, like it's not really seeing that much play. It would be cool if that got some sort of buff, but I feel like either that thing's going to be too good or not good enough. And at the end of the day, it's fine because we have two brand new powers with Demon Hunter to play around with for season 27. But I'm curious to know what is your guys' feels and feedback for this. And I'll probably be dropping some build guides on this uh, very, very soon. There's actually three different Demon Hunter builds. There's not really a Vengeance build. There was one previously where you would sit super far away and the cooldown like didn't actually work properly and basically you could spam it, uh, but that has been nerfed. Now it like charges up as you guys saw from like the earlier gameplay where like it, it builds up. You'll see the numbers like 30 and once you use it, it has to rebuild up. So they basically kind of nerfed the ability to do that, but I think the multi-shot build is fun too. So there's so many things to mess around with for DH, but anyways, that's going to go and wrap it up for the video. Um, and I'll be dropping build guides here. So if you guys are new here and you want to see season 27 Diablo content for like the best builds, I'll be dropping that later uh, down the line. So if you want to see it, subscribe, turn the bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and I'm out. Peace.